Kuhn. Today we talk about time horizon in crypto. Before we get started, remember this is financial advice. You need to do your own research before you uh, make any steps. So what is time horizon? So it's basically, uh, it can be a couple of things. It can be your investment timeline. Um, the time you're willing to wait before you sell an asset. Think about uh, buy low, sell high, and your financial goal as well. Maybe it could be like retirement or buying a house or um, yeah, saving up for a car or something like that. So I just put down some ideas of like um, legacy finance, like what they consider short, mid, and long term. As you can see, like less than three years is like short term. Uh, three to ten would be mid term, and then more than ten is is long term so for sure you could think about like putting down a deposit for a house um something you want to do within three years you got mid uh to like three to ten years so that could be like paying off debt like your student loan or something like that over ten years uh more than ten years would be like saving uh for retirement or even paying off um maybe your, your house or something like that your mortgage over ten years so in the crypto markets, um, I think it's a bit different, mainly because it's a speculative asset. Um, here I've got short, mid and long. I've done short as like meme coins. These probably have the smallest market caps and they're going to go up and down uh, like crazy. The volatility is good for traders. That's how they make money. And maybe you're thinking about days really, but maybe over weeks or something you expected to, you could make some decent returns. Um, yeah, I just used it as a Shiba. Um, token to, to kind of represent that but whatever this could happen with any coin midterm I've got Bitcoin now people talk about Bitcoin being like you know like holding it and being a like, like long term play and I guess it is um, I put years here because um, yeah I think that's what people you know may have that's kind of like the mindset of like yeah they're gonna they're buying low and, and selling high uh, they want to hold it for a while and they know they might not make money tomorrow from it but they do think that it will trend upwards over time and then this is like long the last one and i put like the curve token here because this is where you've like locked it away for for four years so the price of the token really doesn't like affect you you don't plan on selling it for four years minimum um, and really you could like leave it in there to create um you know create income through this way through like the, the curve me uh, mechanism uh, called that the lock or so you've got the trader ho hodler or i just call it holder in it and uh, the lock or sick so the trader just wants to make some money exploiting opportunities as they arise the problem with this is that most fail and um, i don't really want to play in this game i'm most susceptible to market volatility after recent crash you could hear people say like can't the devs do something and that's what you hear people that are like waiting on every up and down of the market um say and we don't necessarily want to be like this if, if you're a top trader it's a way to make money but that's um that's not the game i'm gonna play uh who said crypto was stressful i'm 21 and i feel great yeah what a great meme so uh that kind of <laughs> sums it up and the midterm buy low sell high so i got some coins here i've got um this is luna this is cardano and solana so you know maybe they're waiting over um year, maybe months to years these coins have pretty uh these are long-term plays but um yeah in, in this instance we're just holding it um it could experience massive gains uh, people can often be overexposed to the markets in the midterm maybe they want to try and make money in a year um, and that doesn't always work out bear markets can definitely last over one year so um, in, you know imagine if you bought at the wrong time the the, the peak of the previous bull and it take you a long time to even make your money back um, because you're just holding the asset and hoping that it will go up with time and then once it does get to a, a, an amount you think is is reasonable to sell you sell it but then what do you have you've got dollars but what are you going to do with them like it's not necessarily um you end up like trying to buy lower or something and it's not necessarily the most effective way to to create money in the long term come on do something yeah i just bought the dip but it keeps on dipping so this 
this method, um, uh, you can see uh, I'm there checking my laptop, <laughs> trying to be happy, quite confused. Um, yeah, this end, you end up trying to catch the right time still and pick a time when to sell it. And um, you don't have any idea really of, of where the market's going. You know it's going to trend up, but uh, you know a lot of people still lose out this way. So the thing that I'm trying to trying to get across in myself and uh, what I've been moving towards is like the, the long term hard love, which would be the luck or um, or the inkuma. Yeah, the never ending huddle. So I've, I've represented this with the curve tokens and the uh, spirit token. This is curve convex and in spirit. So get to know. Um, and basically, I'm just locking away my uh, coins for four years and this is going to generate the income that I want I don't really care about the price as long as the volume is uh, the same or increasing then then I'm earning um, money which is good I don't have to worry about the market or what's it doing really um, this is these are my seeds and uh, they will sprout into wonderful money trees passive income uh, does nothing all day, earns incoon, earns incoon from telling others how to earn incoon. I'm earning, I'm earning incoon. Has a choice of a million up front or 10 cent each month. Always picks option B. Well, you know what? This 10 cent, 10 cents each month here, I'm definitely getting more than that. And that's going to be better at paying me and more uh, sustainable than trying to to come back to to holding these coins and hoping that they go up in time and then selling them at the right time and then having nothing but dollars afterwards I don't really want dollars to hold whereas here I'm going to be generating something every month and hopefully from that I can either pay bills or uh, buy other coins so I think that is it just remember what I said you need to do your own research and uh, think about the narratives forming in crypto you need to consider your own goals and stuff and uh, always invest within your means remember to like and subscribe thank you for watching this video this has been mf inkoon